So I had a question on YouTube on my last video about how I adjusted the dual extruder part of this um, this extruder. So I'll give you a quick overview of this thing again. So I'm going to move this. This is on there with a, a key slot slides on there this is uh, the new shroud I designed that just pops on there these are held in with these little little pegs that I printed and then of course the hot ends E3Ds these are really nice hot ends I like them a lot so this is a kind of hybrid it's got the direct drive for the back nozzle and the Bowden type for the front these are bolts that are we've captured a, um, a bearing back in there on both sides this one backs up the gear I think it uh, hopefully will help with durability on the uh, the inside of that uh, stepper motor and then this one of course backs up the, the filament and right down in here a little hole goes down to a a bolt that uh, is trapped in this this piece right here and goes into here with the nut in the with the holder of the his hot end holder here and it can move up and down in uh, the same kind of um, keyed slots that I had like this one here um, and you can see a little bit right there and it'll uh, it'll travel up and down it doesn't need to be able to move very much because the hot ends are really close to each other so All right, um, so I like this this system a lot because of the the way it holds the hot end solid. You don't have to worry about them twisting and moving around on you. And then the motor is what comes out and moves. Just let that rest there. These, of course, uh, there's a couple nuts in behind here. When you tighten them down, it clamps the, uh, the stepper motor in. And here, one of my primary goals of making this was that uh, I could take advantage of the fact that with the E3D, I can run that Teflon tube all the way continuous from the the gear down into the uh, the bottom of the hot end and uh, and of course another big advantage is that it's really easy to change out Just pop it in anywhere you go that uh, teflon twisted around a little bit there and i can straighten that there we go and so you can you can load this thing up and put a piece of filament in and uh, you don't have the motor in the way or anything it just goes all the way in you can even hand push it in you get a real good feel for it as it starts to get into you know starts to melt and then when you're ready to go you can close it up <clears throat> and tighten it down this uh, is probably the weakest link of the whole thing I'd like to figure out a better tensioning system but I, you know once you're used to it it's not that big a deal so um, I have uh, I actually haven't even used this one yet I printed this up I was using a uh, an old the old maker gear this is my very original extruder and I printed a little adapter for doing the, the, the Bowden. 
But of course the problem with this is is that when the filament went in here, you, you couldn't just push it all the way through this long tube. You had to extrude, you know, with the stepper motor the entire length, unless you took this off the motor, and that's not a very good not a good practice. So it's bolts to drip out. So with this, I'll be able to just feed the filament all the way up through the tube and then when I'm ready to ready to go, I'll just tighten it down. Changing out filament should be a lot easier. I think that uh, about does it. I'll be putting this uh, design on Thingiverse here shortly.